Hey, what's going on, people? This is D Chan with SSDK Music, and I'm so glad you made it to my channel. All right, so on today, we're dealing with our last tip, tip number five. And tip number five is going to be dealing with editing. Okay, and basically, editing deals with automation. Okay, so automation, what is it? Well, let's jump over to my instrument bus here. And as you can see, I've done to display automation. I've done some volume automation on my dis on my instrument bus. OK, so basically with automation, you can do a lot of different things. You can automate uh, volumes and vocals. You can automate filters like making it sound like it's in the telephone and then, you know, moving to like clarity. You can automate so many different things. You can automate different uh, parts of an instrument or VST. So that's, you know, once again, dealing with filtering or you're dealing with, uh, say you're dealing with sine waves and making the VST do special things. So automation is like, it's the last tip, but it's like a very powerful tip because a lot of things can go on behind the scenes. Like some of the, uh, especially like in uh, EDM music, you see a lot of automation people uh altering a lot of different filters and volumes and different things guy so uh in here let's jump over to um and i don't know if you really can hear in this particular thing but if i was to uh, extreme let's be a little extreme with it and move the volume up from chorus to verse and that's like uh it would be an example of automation So there's a, a, a significant jump in the volume, a couple dB. So let's solo that and we'll listen to it. See how the volume jumps. So that's like automation. So as you record your, um, you, when you when you bounce it down, that automation will be recorded into that, the final two track file for your, for your mix down. All right, so that final tip is automation. All right, guys, I thank you guys for hanging out with me. Uh, my last stage in this whole uh, thing when I deal with mixing would be basically you want to listen. So listening can encompass a lot of different things. Mostly you have your studio monitors that you have. So you want to listen through there. But you also want to have another avenue of listening like headphones. Uh, some people use the car test. Now, this isn't the mastering phase. This is just a mix. And you want to make sure your mix sounds good on several different uh, speakers. So you have your studio monitor. Sometimes you have small near field monitors and large, bigger studio monitors, as well as headphones. You can have several different types of headphones to help with that monitoring, as well as using the car, because a lot of times you hear music in your car. Or you can use your little earbuds for your iPods and stuff like that. So you got to really just once you get to the part where you, you already mixed it down to your two track, you go ahead and listen, see if there's anything. Take a notebook with you, write down different things you notice. All right. That is the last thing. So I thank you once again. Since you made it to this channel, you made it this far. Go ahead and hit uh, like, comment and subscribe. And I really appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. D-Chan out.